uh, channel is not just uh, about teaching uh, mathematical concepts uh, because if you are doing that then it is primarily around here is the concept, uh, here are a bunch of examples uh, and then go ahead and do lots of exercises. What we also want to do is try and uh, make uh, mathematics uh, a little bit more fun, a little bit more engaging. So, in this video uh, we will ask the question uh, what is the sum of the first 100 odd numbers. Ok, so let us look at a fun question today. Here is the question. The question is can we sum up the first 100 odd numbers ok. So, that is the question. So, let us first remind ourselves what odd numbers are. So, odd numbers are numbers of the form 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 etcetera. Now, what we have out here is a fairly daunting task uh, even on a calculator. So, essentially on a calculator what you would need to do is you would need to punch in the first 100 odd numbers and then add them up. Now, that is not what we want to do right. We do not want to actually calculate the sum the first 100 odd numbers through a calculator. We actually want to try and see whether we can spot a pattern. Now, what we will do is we will start by asking a much much simpler question which is can we sum up the first 2 odd numbers ok. So, you are starting with a very simple version of the question which is the sum of the first 2 odd numbers and that is just 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Now, let us go ahead and add the first 3 odd numbers which will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 which is equal to 9. Let us add the sum of the first 4 odd numbers which is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 which is 16 and let us look at the sum of the first 5 odd numbers which is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 is 25. Now, let us look at all the answers a bit carefully. So, we have 4, 9, 16 and 25. Now, 4 is just the sum of the first 2 odd numbers and 4 is just 2 times 2. 9 which is the sum of the first 3 odd numbers is simply 3 times 3. 16 is the sum of the first 4 odd numbers which is 4 times 4. We can spot a pattern here because 25 is nothing but 5 times 5 and it is the sum of the first 5 odd numbers. So, if we asked you what is the sum of the first 6 odd numbers the answer would just be 6 times 6 which is 36. So, generalizing the pattern that we spotted here the sum of the first 100 odd numbers would simply be 100 times 100. In fact, what we can do now is actually ask a generalized version of the question which is can we sum up the first n odd numbers and spotting the pattern the answer is just simply n times n which is n squared. So, even in this very very simple example uh, there is a lesson to be learned and the lesson is roughly as follows we are given a problem which initially seems hard to solve. So, the way to start with such problems is to pick the smallest version of that problem right. So, instead of looking at the sum of the first 100 odd numbers we looked at the sum of the first 2 odd numbers and then you build the problem up by looking at the sum of the first 3 odd numbers, 4 odd numbers, 5 odd numbers so on and so forth and we built it up until we spotted a pattern. And then when we spotted the pattern we were able to quickly answer the question that was asked. But more importantly what we were able to do we were also able to generalize the question to ask a more generalized version of the question than what we started with.